For this one, I'm going to show you the three ways that you can remove that horrible white outline from your image. Now, this can be with green, with just the normal background, and just in general, remove the outline after you've cut your image out. So here's an example. We have ourselves the image, and this is with the background. It looks completely normal, looks fine. And let's say you've cut it out, and it looks like this, where the edges you can still see the background. The first simple way to do this is to contract the selection. So what I mean by this is if you hold control or command if you're on a Mac and then left click on the thumbnail to get yourself a selection and this will give you the March and Ants, you can see that we've got a little tiny gap right there. And we can easily close this if you go to select, go to modify and then go to contract and then in here select how many pixels you want it to contract by. And we're going to go with 10. So we're going to go ahead and press OK. We also need to get ourselves a mask. So if you click on the mask button, and there we go, you've pretty much removed that Y outline. The second way to do this is same as last time, if you hold Control or Command, and then get yourself a selection around the cutout, you want to go to the second tool, and you want to go into Select and Mask. And you pretty much want to scroll down a little bit more, make sure opacity is on 100. You can select the preview. I would recommend having it on a black overlay just to make it easier to see. And then we also want to zoom in with the zoom icon right there just to see it a little bit better. You want to scroll down to the edge detection. So for this one, we're going to give it a radius of, let's say, about 10 pixels. That will do but it doesn't look very good. It just looks very transparent. So to fix that, all you have to do is scroll down, go to global refinements. You want to go ahead and get yourself a little bit of a feather. And then you want to increase the contrast to 100%. So as you can see, this is now smoothing it out. But we also want to increase the feather a little bit more increase the smoothness. And then finally, make sure you use the shift edge and you put this to a minus, let's say 50. And there we go. We've now removed the outline. So basically what this does is radius is how much of a distance you want it to apply. Smoothness is how smooth you want the edges to be. This one isn't really necessary right now. But if you did have an image with rough edges, then you can use this to smoothen it down and make it more rounded off on the edges. You have feather, which basically gives it a bit of a feather, but it plays with contrast. So these two work together in order to get that good result. So you will need to give it a bit of a feather and then also increase the contrast. But contrast, we normally put it to 100% anyway. And then finally, the shift edge, this allows you to either dig deeper into the cutout and cut off the edges, or you can do it the opposite direction and have a plus number, which will then give you more of a outline if you wanted a outline. So we're happy with this. If you want to, you can hold spacebar, look around the image, see what the parts look like. Let's say for example, you weren't happy with this area right here. Let's say it's too much rounded off, then you can easily decrease the smoothness and as you can see, this will now be more around it. If you wanted to, you can also use the polygonal lasso tool right here. So if you right click, you'll see the polygonal lasso tool. And then you could just simply hold Alt or Option key, left click once, and then left click here, and then keep on left clicking. You can let go of Alt, get yourself a selection here. Once you've gone to the very last one, you can either go to here, and then when the circle pops up, you can left click or you can hold control and then connect it up from here. So what this basically will do is it will cut that part out. But as you can see, we now need to just slightly re-add this bit right here. So sometimes it will do this. That's basically loading. It's completely fine. You don't have to worry about it. We're just going to put this back on and there we go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So once you're happy with all your changes, you can then scroll all the way to the bottom go on to output two and in here you can either select new layer or you can select a new layer with layer mask this will allow you to control that mask if you want to 
But for the sake of it, we're just going to go with a new layer and then go ahead and press OK. And there we go. As you can see, we've now removed the outline. And then the very last one is more of a optional one. So if you right click on your cutout, go to blending options, and then in here, you want to get yourself a stroke. So once you've got yourself a stroke, you want to set this to, let's say 10 pixels. You want to make sure it's on the inside for the position. You want to set it on a black color. And then in the blending mode, you set this to screen. And there we go, it's cut it out as you can see. Because basically the way that this works is it will use that mode and that effect to cut out that outline that you've just created. So it's kind of like working backwards. You're creating an outline to get rid of the outline, but it does work. So as you can see, if we look at the image, nice and soft around the edges, there's no outline. It looks really good and clean. And that's what you want. You want that really good result. Now this method is not 100% always recommended because it has two major flaws. And the first one is, let's say you had an area like this where you needed to remove you would use the polygonal lasso tool, for example, you would select it. And once you've got yourself the selection, go back to the very last one, hold control, and then left click to select it. You would then press delete, but as you can see, that delete will also apply to the outline. And the worst thing is about this one is if you press control and Z to undo and control and D, if you try to convert this into a small object, it will reveal the stroke outline. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. This was a short one. I wanted to show you all a nice little trick that you can do to make your cutouts a lot better and smoother. But anyway, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get 100K, that would be amazing. And leave a comment on what you thought of this video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.